Logan Kane here, and this is Slinky. Slinky is a hard-as-nails 2.5D action platformer for Windows, Mac, and Linux, where your own prosthetic arm is the ultimate multi-purpose weapon. Sounds like Mega Man to me. Use it as a bladed boomerang to control the population of mutated critters. Pull levers towards you to get through puzzles and zipline across grappling surfaces. Furthermore, instead of having your weapon return to you, why not return to it instead with the power of Slinky Slingshot? All this to find out what happened to once and peaceful forest you used to live in. Well, apparently it's uh, 450 here in itch.io. Now, one thing that I have to complain about, right here. Everything I do is in Linux, so far, and this is labeled as a .gz. That kind of threw me for a loop, I had to change it to .tar.gz in order to extract it correctly, so any Linux users out there might have to do that. But anyway, uh, let's get into this. And here we are, powered by Unity. Alright. A lot of these say personal edition, this game wall might actually be a real studio, and not just an independent person. I don't know, I haven't looked into them. Slinky. Oh. Just straight into the game? Does the controller work? It does, it does. Okay, pressing buttons. Okay, R1 is jump. And R2 seems to be right. As well as right. Alright, well, let's see what happens. What's this? Okay. I'm getting teleported to a stage, I guess. There's a no, no floppy disks. <laughs> no floppy disks at the top of the screen there. All right. I don't know why ABXY doesn't do anything in R1 jumps, but hey, I can do that. Am I supposed to leap over the whole thing for a particular reason, or are you just teaching me that I can jump? Ooh, L1's doing something now. I don't... Oh, okay. Wow, that's... Yeah, I'm gonna use the keyboard and mouse here. Alright, that's better. Ow, hedgehogs. Hedgehogs are evil. Although it is funny that... if I really feel like I'm playing a Sonic game, and this is the, the first enemy I find is a hedgehog. Am I trying to grab onto these things? Oh, okay. So I send this up, and then I can jump up to it. Cool. Interesting game so far. I'm liking it. I'm digging it. The character model's kind of weird, but I'm digging it. What is that? Oh, pull a switch. Got it. There, we hit a switch. Remotely, with the thing that was sitting right in front of the door. Okay, what is this? I guess I can... Oh, I can let go. So I shoot that out and jump, I guess. Whatever. Nice little tutorial. Doesn't feel so tutorial-ish. And it jumps out, and everything's pretty cool. I, I really like this. Can I just keep doing... Can I just keep doing that? No. No, I cannot. Although that is a lever. Oh, it's a time it's a time lever. All right, we'll just wait for that to just wait for that to restart. All right. Let's see if I can do this. It doesn't seem too hard. It's just going to take me a little bit to get used to it. Oh. I guess that's for people who can't handle the puzzle they let you get by anyway. Alright, let's get up there. Whoops. Now, what's really weird is I can jump, then throw it, and then jump. I, so I can... I can jump and then use it. I just can't use it twice. Ow. Damn hedgehogs. Ruining our days. Wait, can I go up? No. Nope. Okay, this is something I'm going to have to get used to. 
All right. That's neat. I, I kind of want to go back and start over just to see what's going on with that other spot. Can I get up there? Is that something I can climb on? No. I can get up here. This is where I should have tried to do it. No, there's... That is not where they want me to go. Alright, let's get over here. Nothing down there, good. I can see that, I like that. I'm not wondering and having to go back to check it out. This game isn't so tough as nails. Maybe it gets there. Looks well made though. I'm. I've already said that plenty of times, but I'm digging it. The music's not bad either. It's not annoying. Kind of reminds me of well, playing Sonic. But my prosthetic arm needs to electrocute everything. What are these? Oh right. Oh, those are lives. I was thinking they were checkpoints. Well, that's that's a shame. Do we really need lives anymore? We're not feeding quarters into the machine. Oh, I just noticed that green bar at the upper left. Is that my progress bar? Oh, it's probably my health. Derp. I'm thinking I have two hit points. Sonic. Ha. Well, that's fun. Alright. Come on, points. It does have an arcade feel to it. I guess that's what they're going for. It's probably why they added the lives. They're not necessary. There's a ton of lives. But I think it's more for aesthetic. Well, gotta go backwards first. Ah, They didn't add anything going backwards. Oh, well. Wait. No. Okay, it's just yellow when it comes back. Hey! Okay. I can do this. Honestly, I'd rather use a controller for this game, but I... I the settings menu, when you first launch the game, is ridiculous. There's a slider, and it says input control. I have no idea what the hell it wants me to do. So. We'll just keep going on like this. Yeah. I keep thinking I'm going to drop as soon as I let go of the... Le as soon as I let go of the, the orb prosthetic arm button thing. Take out that hedgehog. Take out that hedgehog. I guess those are the checkpoints. That makes sense. I don't want to go this way. I want to go this way. Oof. <laughs> that was kind of a tricky thing anyway. I think I could have to, I'd have to jump back over it. The spiked hedgehog things. Let's, uh... For billing themselves as a tough-as-nails platformer, I'm having a pretty easy time of this. And while I'm usually pretty good at platformers, Ostia threw me for a loop a bit. So I'm not... not the best. But I was a huge fan of Mega Man X games as a child. The only one I never really played much or beat was Mega Man X 2. Some sort of boss. Oh god! He's humping me. Okay, not a boss, just a... Just a nuisance, really. That's pretty cool. Okay, the orb does come back to you if you fall too far away from it. Yeah, fuck you. Yeah, I, I see your tricks. You're easy. You think you're something special, but you're not. I don't even know why I'm killing them. I don't care about the points. I think it just makes me feel better to destroy them. Oh god, that's not what I want to do. You gotta be careful with that. If you don't want to... If, if you want to jump... 
Okay, I thought this guy wasn't... There we go. Oh god, that hurt. This guy is not dying. Okay. That guy, that guy hurt. I wonder if there's health. This is glowy. Give me health. Alright. But anyway, what was I saying? Mega Man X. Great game. Damn it. I keep trying to jump while I have my orb out. And that's not how this game works. I kind of wish I had an unlimited jumps that I could do. I know that would probably break the game, but it would be so much fun just to fly through the levels like that. Maybe it's like a superpower or something would be cool. Okay, those guys are easier than I... That guy was easier than I was making it. I think I just accidentally killed him the first time. And this time... I guess he just shove his drink into his mouth and he doesn't like it. Just a couple of times, though. I like to think that I'm making these guys choke to death. Come... Come sumo me. Bastard. Die. Anyway. Hey, is this a... Huh. Hmm. Whatever. Let's get up here. Whoa! The guy can... The guy can throw. Alright. Choke on your shit, you asshole. Oh, well, that was lame. Choke on it! Choke on it! Choke on it! So yeah, Mega Man X4 is probably my favorite of the whole bunch. Great anime scenes, and while Zero is kind of overpowered once you get him a, just a couple of just a couple of his upgrades, and he's already overpowered. But it's a blast to just fly through the levels of Zero. Mega Man, not so much, but still good stuff. Anyway, I suppose you all probably get the point. Tough as nails platformer that's not all that tough as nails, but we'll finish up this level maybe. Maybe we'll see a boss. It's nice seeing multiple enemies. That's a very burnt out platform. Anyway. Now, you know what? Let's look at this guy. Whoa. I didn't know he could throw it straight down. He's like some sort of bird monster. I don't... What are they? I thought they were, uh, The first guy, I thought he was a bear. But they're clearly some sort of bird-bear hybrid. It's no man-bear pig, but... Huh. Choke on it. Choke. Choke. Aw. Just, just wait that one out. Choke on it. Alright. I didn't think I could hurt him coming back. But I just did. Miss. Where are you? Hey. Fine then. I'll just come right up into your face. Dirty. It's easier to hit you. Wait, was there something over here? Yes, there is. Aw. Oh god. They're tricking me. They're making me think they're secrets. Hey, if you guys are watching this, guys who made this game, fix your tarball thing, please. And add some more... Over here? There should be a secret over here or something. I mean, look at that. That's perfect. Maybe there are secrets, and I'm just completely missing them, but... It seems like there could be so many cool secrets all over. I feel like I'm going to be chased. What the fuck? Why did I die? 
Well, let's try it again. Oh, okay. I gets it, I gets it. I was just too close to it and it didn't go all the way down last time. So this shouldn't be too bad. Just at the end. No? Well, how the hell do I get around this? Maybe I'll just run off and then... Let's just try running. I guess this is what all the lives are for. When you don't know what's going on. Okay, I just run off the edge. Oh god. It was easier than I was making it. Stop drinking your fire stuff and choke on it. I want to see what's over here. Probably nothing. Because they didn't do anything. The devs didn't do anything cool like, Oh, we're going to have some cool stuff if you walk the way that it doesn't look like you're supposed to go. But alas, it's just... Go forward. No secrets, just go forward. Which is whatever. I just feel like if I was actually finding cool secrets, it would make the game 30 times better. Although, I, re I still love it. I I've said that a lot of times, but this this little orb mechanic thing is really cool. You know, I haven't seen any bottomless pits. I'm going to check it out. Yep, bottomless pit. How can I resist? How can I resist? Just sitting there, staring me in the face. Let's get through this. Oh, God. So they do have bottomless pits. I mean, you die before you hit the bottomlessness of it, but... I suppose that's what it's all about. Okay, looks like we're done with level two. So, yeah. Pretty good game. Highly recommend it. It's a lot of fun. If just for that little gimmick. I wish they'd put a little bit more things to check out in it, but... You know, whatever. It's good. So, go to Itch.io and, uh, play with some prosthetic arms that allow you to do this. Alright. Enjoy!